That day, I felt like something was off when I went to school. My mom has never picked me up from school for like 12 years or anything for any reason besides the doctor's appointment. So she picked me up this day. I get home, she sits me down on the couch, and there are people in my house, and I don't know why. She said, well, your dad crashed an airplane. And I kind of just stared at her like it was a dream. I'm like, no. I'm like, are you, you're joking, right? Like, this isn't. She's like, I mean, you know, seriously, dad crashed an airplane <laughs> and um, we don't know where he is. We did have that big life. Um, my dad could fly us down to Florida almost every weekend if he really wanted to. We did go on vacations a lot. We had a pool in the backyard and a lake in a boat. It was the huge lifestyle, but it wasn't really what mattered to me, I guess. I went to school. Nobody would come near me. What I wanted to do is have something normal, go have a play date. I was like 10 years old. I'm sorry, like my parents don't want me to hang out with a shrinker. Even before it happened, my dad was a very angry person. He, you know, I didn't know it at the time because I was very young that he, you know, drank a lot and took drugs that he, you know, or that he wasn't supposed to take. And he was uh, kind of, I had to guess whether to approach him or not approach him. That's how it was, like, uh, you know, being scared of your own dad. I tell people a lot, you know, my father's alive, but my dad's dead. My dad left that day, okay? He is not my dad anymore. He can't parent me. He can't be there because he, he isn't well. I met Alyssa when uh, my son brought her home and said, hey mom, this is Alyssa. And I said, okay, nice to meet you. And they went about their evening and then next thing I know, um, she was staying for the evening and I said, hey, what's going on? And he goes, well, she didn't have a place to stay tonight. Can she just hang out here? So I was like, okay. She's in the basement, you're upstairs in your room, I'm sleeping on the main floor. She basically lived out of a suitcase bag and whatever plastic bag she happened to carry stuff in. She didn't act like that a spoiled girl. She is very down to earth. She bought her clothes at Goodwill or she'd go get, um, she'd work jobs, she'd babysit. Um, she worked for landscaping over the summer. We got a phone call one night from my son saying that Alyssa had gotten herself in trouble. And so I was like, okay, what'd she do? So I did find out she had shoplift, shoplifted from Claire's. Well, I tell myself I make mistakes, I'm human, I learned from it. I'm never gonna do it again, I'm never gonna be that. I'm really hoping someone sees this and sees her as the person she really is, not just the story of, you know, being a shrinker kid or, you know, being shoplifting or, you know, not having problems with school. Um, that sees that she wants to be a better person and move forward. She just needs that one, two, three support people to just kind of give her that push. Um, so when she does fall, pick her up and push her on again. She just needs a cheerleader. Everybody really deserves love. Everybody does. It's just the luck if we, like we don't really, it's not in our control who our parents are, who raises us, it's really, till we're 18, all of it's in somebody else's hands and that's the hardest part.